What is good everybody? Heading off this morning for a fish, chasing some whiting. Up on Seven Mile Beach here, just outside of Lennox Head. And it's a pretty momentous occasion for me because I've been vegan for the last 18 months. Vegetarian before that for about the same amount of time. And I've gone into reasons why I stopped doing that, but this is the first fishing session, hunting session, sourcing my own sustenance since I made that decision to reincorporate hunting and fishing back into my life. So heading down, want to get some nice tasty whiting from the table and uh, see how we go. Heading out the bike this morning, cruising in, it's going to be nice and quiet, it's a beautiful sunrise. Ooh. So the setup I'm using here, I've got a nice little rod, six pound line on. I've got the main line coming down to a swivel. And from there I've got a little weight coming off, about a 20 centimetre litre. And then I've come down to the nice little whiting setup with a red bead and a long shank hook, about a size number six or eight, I think, I think an eight. I think the tide's pushing a little too hard at this end. I can't really find any gutters and banks to fish on. So I'm going to head down back towards the main town of Lennox Head and see if I can cast around there. Well, that didn't exactly go to plan. <laughs> I was uh, heading back down towards Lennox and decided to ride my bike along the beach because it's a little quicker, save some time, and it was just too sandy, the tide had come in too far so the sand was super soft and just got caught right up in my crank set and as I went to change gears, all hell just broke loose and my chain uh, ripped up in between the two cogs. So I managed to get it done but it's now 8am and i got to go back and catch up with a friend. So. First fishing adventure was a uh, failure in terms of fish caught, but that's all right. I sort of know how I feel catching fish just yet after three years of not doing it. But um, yeah. still, it's good to get out there, and I'm going to get back out and get that table fish next tomorrow. Alrighty, after yesterday's not so successful hunt, back at it today, heading down to Ballina, chasing whiting once again. Want to get a good table fish. Alrighty, so we got our first fish. A little whiting, a little sand whiting, just what I was chasing. Alrighty, so he's just a little bit too small. About a centimetre under the mark, so I'm gonna let him go. Off you go, buddy. There he goes. First fish caught in a year and a half. Ah, feels good, it feels good. Let's get a table fish though. Well, no luck there. I tipped it today. I got the one fish, but still no eaters, so and as I only, only consume what I what I hunt and kill now, it's all the veggies tomorrow. Alrighty, good morning. The swells died down, the wind's dropped off and the rains have stopped. It's time to head out for my first spear fishing session. So I've never actually been spear fishing around these areas before, and where I'm heading this morning, I don't even know what the uh, the layout's gonna be like. I just checked it out on Google Maps. And Looks like it's pretty accessible. I'm pretty sure the visibility is going to be woeful because of the amount of rain we've had over the last week or two and just from what I saw yesterday, but hopefully we can still get some close-ups uh, some close with some fish and I can get a feed because since deciding to start hunting and fishing and spearfishing again, 
I still haven't kept any of the fish that I've caught. It's a little bit more swell than what I wanted. I see some sick little peaks, but I'm gonna walk up to the corner here and see if there's a good little spot for me to get out. There's a few surfers around. So I'm trying to get a better vantage point up over this ridge. Oh, see the old bare feet fair in this. Oh, cool. I'm gonna keep pushing along over this next little headland. See what's on the other side. Just see how the water looks. Don't know where this is gonna take me. Love the exploration. That's what it's all about. Woo. Holy shit, did you look at that? You are kidding me. Have a look at this. What? Paradise. That could be some good diving out there too, off that headland. Alrighty. Let's get in the water. Alrighty. Let's see how we go, shall we? Be a bit cloudy, but we'll still come out. Well, as you saw, it is pretty murky out there. Can't really see much, but I'm gonna head out again anyway. Just have a little look. Take the gun out, see if I can find anything. I'm gonna leave the GoPro here though, just because the swell is pretty hectic and it's not mine, so I don't want to lose it. But, well, I was really hoping that was going to be better than what it was, but the swells just picked up too much and it was just soup out there. I couldn't see the end of my gun. Swam around for about 20 minutes and just got dumped the whole time. There'll be some potential here, but I got to come when it's just been dead flat for a few days, I think. Oh well, it's only 8.30 in the morning. Time to get on with the day. Reef one, Dane zero. Didn't see that wave coming. <laughs> Alrighty, so since this morning's uh, unsuccessful spear fishing adventure, I went out and had a line fish down off Lennox Head here and managed to land a couple of fish actually. With a couple of whiting which I let go, a big 65 centimeter garfish which I also let go. And then I landed a 36 centimeter brim which is just perfect eating and just the fish I want to uh, tap off my first feed with. So I didn't have my camera with me when I was fishing so I didn't get any of it on camera but um, I got a photo right here that I'll show you. And I filleted the fish Getting ready to go. And there she is. Got some good fillets, some nice wings, and I'm gonna make a big fish stock out of the uh, the carcass because I don't like to waste anything at all. I eat the skin, I eat all the head, I eat pretty much all, most of the organs except the gut. So I'm excited for this one. So we got our brim wings, a couple of fillets, a little kale saute and some veggies. Oh, it smells so good. Oh yeah. Shit. God, I'm excited for this. First piece of fish in only three years. Mm. Oh. Ah, it's good. Oh, I've missed that. It's a pretty big, uh, pretty big moment for me because 
as I've mentioned earlier, I've been vegan for the last 18 months and before that I was still hunting and fishing but I wasn't taking any, uh, any farmed animals or anything along those lines and same as now, back to just sourcing my own sustenance and I really took a lot of time after I caught this fish and as I'm eating it, I'll be very mindful of the life that it gave for me to have the sustenance and where it comes from and I've always thought that hunting and fishing really brought an emotional connection to the food that you consume because you know you're not just unconsciously demolishing stuff you actually you have a, an emotional connection with it you know where it came from you sourced it yourself you cleaned it you filleted it and uh, prepared it cooked it now you're eating it and it's just a really natural thing that I find but um, yeah let me get into it Mm. Mm. Oh. Let's do it.